good afternoon or good morning depending on the time zone that you guys are watching this video so basically we're adding a new wireless access point or it could be a used one it depends you just want to add it to your uh, zone director uh, for whatever reason you could have a dead access point you just want to add a new one or you want to replace one so in my case obviously uh, I'm connecting it through a PoE switch and you could add this one as as a mesh if you add it as a mesh after you configure it then you unplug the uh, power cord and you plug in a through a regular an AC power and that would be it but for today we just want to show how you can add an access point to our system and here we go once it comes up obviously we show green on the power you put it aside and you go into um, your URL which is uh, basically we want to type in the IP address let's see which one is it right here okay so in my case I already know my user ID and a password to my IP address which is uh, 192.168.170 we're gonna enter it and it comes up to the screen in this case would be admin and the password okay so it's a warning this one I put in earlier into my zone directory just gives a warning depending on who may be getting here but for but anyway in this case we're just gonna click continue okay and you want to make a refresh this thing since it, since you want to see it much more better in a GUI okay and in our case we do already have one two three four four access points there but in this case here uh, we do have we do have as you know already four active one how do we know that you could see these things right here showing very active and running where this one in the action it's you can see it's blanked out see blank 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 all right so right now we're gonna just refresh it just to make sure okay see earlier you may want to also look on the MAC address of the new access point in our case is 9290 the reason I say that is because you want to know which is which that is being we are adding 9290 it would be this one right here see what's shown disconnected in our case here it would be saying provisioning which means it is first of all it would show a uh, firmware upgrade or just upgrading upgrading basically means it's upgrading to our latest zone director under system overview which is 9.10 so after it's been done it would come up says provisioning in our case it's already added so I don't want to go through the whole thing once it's already added you click on the access point right here and you wait okay and you can see here it says connected and everything else but it hasn't received anything yet so you click again onto the MAC address with your mouse click configure and there's our zone director I just want to go back to the uh, the access point that I showed you earlier and basically that's the one I want to get to see this is what I'm talking about right here this is the 9290 which basically I'm taking the last four digits I select this thing and I'm gonna say edit here I'm gonna call it a uh, new device so we can see it in the dashboard which one we are adding the best thing to do 
is to make sure things much quicker and faster I would just highlight these things or select these things in order for it uh, to take effect and I watch say okay and then go see how it's all highlighted accepted it new device and then click apply save changes and go back to the dashboard I mean everyone has a different method but for someone who is doesn't really know what's going on or how it's being added you want to do as simple as possibly can uh, it's something you would just get you back up and running all right so to go back here so you remember how I called it a new device it's shown all connect see how it's shown enabled everything it is connected new device now you can see there is no nothing connected to it because it's already been added but I'm gonna use my phone for instance I show what I mean by that I'm gonna use my phone with my phone I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi and then I'm gonna select off and then select back on and my phone is gonna connect back to my SSID which is my wireless system so I'm gonna select rocket once I do that it's selected now watch how I go back and I'll show you where I am up to uh, I think it's to display too okay now here you're gonna see now there is one device so let's refresh it to see if my phone is being selected and the new device is right here right the one I just acted before it was shown no one see we're showing one device client so that's me and if you want to see much more in details click on the MAC address of that access point and how it shows some sort of activity and there it goes my iPhone see we show an iPhone that's me who just connected to the new access point it shows me what channel the name of uh, the name of the SSID now remember just because it's called Ruckus 1100 it, it doesn't mean that I'm connected to that specific access point. Ruckus 1100, it's my zone director, which means is I have about five access points. And anytime I, anytime I connect to Ruckus 1100, it selects the best, closest access point. Right. In my case, is the access point that I just added right now. That's where my phone is connected to it. All right, that's, that's one way to figure that out. If you go back again to the dashboard the dashboard again it shows you the clients the access point that are active and everything else so we do know before we only had four access point now we also have five one two three four five and it shows each access points and how many clients there so we have total five eight 8 10 11 so that's how you know how many people here now in this case also tells you on the client device type it shows you what type of device is actually being connected or what they're using uh, you could here it shows gaming Windows Chrome Mac and all that kind of stuff uh, there's one particular item which probably I don't know if you noticed or not it shows here for instance disabled or it shows uh, if you bring your mouse over incapable the reason is incapable that's a different lesson to show you this is a different access point it is a ruckus but it's a new model R610 which means the R610 is not compatible with the zone director of 1100 it is supposed to be 1200 and up and um, I believe it has to be 10 version 10 or something but in this case Rockus 1100 will not go beyond the uh, version 10. Okay, so now we know how to add an access point and everything else. Now, 
in this scenario we I do have one access point that is being added as a mesh now I by default I have selected every access point that I added to the system it also becomes as a mesh and the reason I said that is because if I happen to disconnect this access point that I just connected or recently added and I want to put it somewhere in a different room where there is no cables being added all I have to do is bring a, a power cord plug it in into an outlet let it come up and it will start working now you want to make sure at least 50 and above so we have pretty good strong so I do have two clients who are already connected to it as a mesh if you have any questions or comments please ask and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thanks you have a good day